what's that baby value pain with? Today we're looking at surface area and volume, specifically looking at the sphere. So the formula is going to be 4 pi r squared for our surface area and 4 thirds pi r cubed for our uh, volume. So the r just stands for radius. And so determine the surface area to volume ratio for a sphere with a radius of 2 centimeters. So our radius or our r is 2 centimeters. So we'll sub this in. So sa is equal to 4 times pi times 2 squared because our radius is 2. So 2 squared is 4. And then 4 times 4 is 16. So I know that my surface area is 16 pi. For my volume, I'm going to sub that in. So 4 thirds pi, again, r being 2, 2 cubed. So 2 cubed is going to give us 8. So 4 thirds pi um, 8 is going to then give us 32 over 3. Um, and then if I want to do my surface area to volume ratio, I take my surface area divided by my volume. OK, um, so in case you don't know, whenever you have a fraction in the denominator, you will go ahead and split that out. So that'd be 16 over 1 times 3 over 32. So you just kind of do the reciprocal of that fraction, because um, when you have um, a denominator in the denominator, it actually moves over into the numerator. Um, so go ahead and uh, reduce this. So there can be two um, 16 and 32. So that'll be 1 and 2. So 3 times 1 is 3 and 1 times 2 is 2. So the answer here is 3 over 2 is our ratio. Pause the video and see if you can solve this one yourself. What is the surface area volume for the cell? Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. Um, so just in case that image was a little too small, I did tell you that the radius was 5 on this image. Um, and so we'll just sub this in. So 4 pi 5 squared, because 5 is our radius. 5 squared is 25, so 4 times uh, 25 is 100. So my surface area is 100 pi. My volume, we'll sub this in. 4 thirds pi, again, r being 5 cubed. Um, and so 5 cubed is 125. So 4 thirds times 125 gives you 500 over 3. Then we'll do our surface area over volume. So 100 pi over 500 thirds pi. Um, go ahead and write the reciprocal. So then if we want to reduce this, that'll be 1 and 5. Um, so 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 5 is 5. Um, so that will give me 3 fifths. So that reduces down to uh, 0 0.60. And it does say the nearest hundredth place, so you do want to have two decimal places there. So now, which of these two cells is more efficient? So the more efficient cells will be the one that has the largest surface area to volume ratio. So since 3 over 2 is larger than 3 over 5, the first uh, explanation we did was the more favorable, more efficient cell. Hope this helped. Remember, 8 pound pain was just assessed by all.